say you want a revolution, well, you know. In the article, you say you want a revolution, hypertext, and the laws of media. We take a deeper look at a concept that wasn't popular, despite the potential advancement for information processing it possessed. In 1993, Stuart Multhrop published this article in the New Media Reader. Multhrop has written a ton of articles on the topic, including Error 1337, Error Glitch, Noise and Jam in New Media Cultures in 2010, and Scandal in New Media in 2012. Throughout this article, Multhrop highlights how hypertext should have been a digital revolution due to its more efficient way of handling information. However, during the time, it was theorized that this so-called revolution didn't take place due to a fear of an expanding world of technology. It was believed that hypertext's new way of processing information could have huge political ramifications and be used to push an agenda that the masses didn't want at the time. Hence, the delay on this new advancement. The article, You Say You Want a Revolution, talks about how media and information is organized and stored in the 90s and the rise of hypertext. In short, hypertext presents information in a more compact way, separating information to be more manageable but allowing you to access details should you desire. Primarily, the article mentions how hypertext spread to become commonly used, but also explores more abstract concepts such as navigating it to create a digital world or as a way to teach. This was an early invention created to help navigate a vast amount of information on a fundamental level. This is believed to be another nail in the coffin for physical media like books as being able to copy and share digital media is significantly easier. Say you want a revolution. In this article, you say you want a revolution, hypertext and the laws of media, it talks about how the concept of hypertext can be revolutionized in everyday life. The example of Xanadu explains that it is like an equivalent of fast food outlets where users go to access the system. This can be seen today at a local McDonald's menu kiosk where a customer would select anything they want from the menu. The concept of hypertext, or even Xanadu, predicted the use of hypertext today through the use of personal computers as we use it every day to search for related things to a topic or even on websites through the hypertext transfer protocol. The idea that hypertext is enhanced and produced through a personal computer today and has progressed from just hypertext is all about connection, linkage, and affiliation to something we use in present day. This digital revolution has manifested the concept of hypertext as we know today through cyberspace and how it would be chaos if this revolution were to continue.